Hi everyone. In this video, we are going to talk about a very, very, very special and specific topic. Before I go in there, I'll just give you a little introduction of to myself. You already know me, but when you see this channel, you would see a lot of different videos, right? Where I started, where I am. It's just, uh, it's a lot of things. So let me just give you an introduction and then I will tell you where I am going with my channel. When I started this, I started this channel in 2010 or 2011. I'm not really sure. I just started because I was so interested in, oh, here is my, here is my dog. If you haven't seen him, he's a Shih Tzu. Uh, we got him in 2020, yeah, 2020 in June. Yeah, June. He's our baby, little baby. Anyway, um, so I started my videos in 2010 with handbags. <clears throat> I was so interested in handbags. I love handbags. So I just thought that let me make hand videos on handbags. And at that time I had, I wasn't sure I can talk much. I was not sure about that. So I just thought, you know what? I love handbags. I love watching uh, videos about handbags. So let me talk about it. And that's how the channel was created. It was called Baggy Love because I love bags. That's why the name, the, the name became Baggy Love. Anyway, I loved and the only thing I was ever talking about was handbags, luxury handbags. And it's always about Louis Vuitton, Chanel. And uh, trust me, I had every single handbag brand with me. Like I'm, I'm more like, when I put my thought into something, I just do the best out of it. And so my husband said, instead of putting all your energy and your thought on luxury handbag, if you just put it in your job, I think you would now, by, by now you would have gone up in the ladder is what he told me. So, <clears throat> so at one point of time, I just realized that I had so many handbags, so many things, and I didn't even know what to do and everything, like a name, a brand I had from Hermes to Hermes to Chanel, to Louis or whatever. So I had, that's why you will see all those uh, videos out there. Then in 2015, I just like my husband said, I just thought, you know what? I already, I have double masters. So it's luxury bag, bags or luxury is not just my thing because you need to fund those things, right? <coughs> Excuse me. So I, I am, I have a double masters, one in computer engineering and another in regulatory affairs and quality assurance. And I work almost uh, 16 years for right now. I have 16 plus years in corporate industry. So I just thought at one point of time around 2015 end or 2016, you know what? I'm done with luxury bag. I love it, but you know, that's not my interest anymore. And so I'm just going to go and do my own thing, which I am already working, already doing things, but I just started concentrating. Wherever you put your concentration on, it grows really well, really well. So once that happened, then became from engineer and then moved into my management, then into like a senior manager. Right now I'm a senior manager. So working towards that. So this is how in my channel, I just stopped at one point. I'm like, you know what? I'm not going to do more any more luxury bags. It's not like I don't buy. I buy. I still have them. But I'm like, ah, no, no, no longer a video. Because you, when you make a video out of it, another question comes on that and you keep making. So anyway, long story short, that was done. Still, I make now and then, but I'm like, no, no, no my concentration is different. So, but then I just thought women climbing up the corporate ladder is kind of a struggle, right? It is a struggle, struggle in many places, but this is a real struggle. So I just thought, you know what? Women are trying to get into job. They're trying to come after career gap. There are so many things. Why don't I dedicate my videos and my this channel to specifically to women, to uplift women, to give more motivation, like whatever I have learned. So whatever I say in here, it's not something I read, uh, I read online or read somewhere because I, frankly speaking, I've done enough reading. I do it for my job. I don't think I want to read one more time to give you, give these things. So it's, if it is there, if I'm already doing something, I'm going to talk about it. If not, I think it's worth not talking. So I don't speak about anything which I myself don't know about or don't work on. So when I started, so my journey, this video is all about, you know what, you're getting into this uh, industry, women coming in, what you can do. Now, one famous thing I always hear everybody say is, oh, you want to become an 
a millionaire or you want to do that you want to have a like a great uh, work life balance skip the 9 to 5 9 to 5 is a corporate job skip it and go do entrepreneur go go do business so what they actually do is give this teach this concept right so people leave their 9 to 5 job and kind of get into a 24/7 job because do you really think uh having a business is like uh, 9 to 5 or uh, or less than that no it's more than that the point is this so my parents let me let me say here so how do i have experience with that now i haven't started any business on my own but 2023 is the one where i'm going to start one so anyway i don't want to go there but let's let's uh, let's talk about this my parents own a business they are entrepreneurs they have they own for so very, very long time like almost 10 or 15 years they have lots of engineering colleges architecture polytechnic publishing company printing company back in india so they own it they are like entrepreneurs so i hear from them i've seen it my sister is also an entrepreneur so if i go and tell them you know what nine to, i work nine to five i work too much it's too difficult as an entrepreneur you may not be working that much i think they would they would literally like be like what are what are you talking about now in your nine to five job you may not put the uh, money in right you're not spending anything you're not creating you are there helping someone else you're not the employer you're an employee the moment you become an employer <clears throat> with a lot of employees there are a lot of things that you have to take care of. a lot of the business your money is in you have put you have to put the money there's so many things in there so it is not about it is not about nine to five or 24 seven so if you're really thinking that let me tell you one thing one thing if you're burning out if you're really burning out something is burning out shifting like oh nine to five is burning me out let me go and do uh, business that won't work the way it works is you do nine to five i really am passionate about something let me go create a business now that will work that will surely work the work is not like oh if you cannot handle one you're not going to be able handle another one that's the thing now in the nine to five job in the work maybe some may work for you you may have a great manager sometimes it may not that's all fine that's all normal that's all normal right but you know how to go around it you know how to work around so without having that concept if you're just going to pick 24 like the the, the entrepreneur or becoming a business owner having no other thought but just like you know what this is too much work let me go do that it's going to really burn you out more because now you have to put money and everything actually the best places you can be in your nine to five now if you ask me maybe maybe let me finish the thought you can be in the nine to five and what you can do is you can start a side business right it's not a main business but you can have a side business once the side business kicks in and it's, it's really giving you the revenue the, the money that what your nine to five gives then leave it and go and i don't even know what nine to five is frankly speaking because there is so much flexibility i think you're in the wrong company and the wrong workplace because frankly if you're in healthcare company or if you're working for yeah healthcare company let's put pharmaceutical medical devices which i'm working those industries have a great work-life balance and there are times when i've seen people coming from other background into this background and never moving away from this background and i think that is because of the flexibility of the lot of perks that that it provides right the work-life balance is the best then. so anyway point that i want to make in this video is this whatever you want to do you can do without burning out okay you can do nine to five job you can do uh what is that um business you can do whatever you want okay you can do whatever you want the only thing is are you passionate about it are you aligned with that that's the thing not because some youtuber said or someone said hey you know what come do business do it do it if you want to do it not because someone else says it that's the thing so always think about it you there is always a strength and a weakness to a person play with your strength so anyway that's the one thing that i want to tell you the other thing is like i said i just want to give a brief introduction of where my channel is going i'll still do haul video if i if i get something because i usually don't buy things during this october to march 
I always go myself on a ban on this style. But anyway, rest of the, like anytime if I buy, I would surely put that because I, like I said, I still am a luxury loving person. So I will do that. One more thing I wanted to let you know. So if you are interested in getting into healthcare industry and you're trying to find a way, how can I get in mainly like non-coding IT job, then there is a computer validation is the best place for you to get in and more about it, about the course, everything is, I'll put the link below. You can go and if you purchase that course, what happens is kind of gives you an introduction to a non-coding IT job, like computer validation job in pharma and medical devices. Plus there's going to be a training, live Zoom session, free training for folks who purchase that course. So what happens is during that course, I would talk about how you can enter, what you can do, how you can prepare yourself and also the consulting companies who can help you. I am not affiliated with them at all, but I just received those companies names and information from the folks who are actually working through a consulting company. So I received that. So I'll be providing all those information. So you're looking for a new start, getting into the health, um, life sciences industry as a computer validation, all that then you can sign up for that and I will see you on Jan 15th. If not, let me know if there are some videos that you want to see or if you're interested, whatever you want to write, you can always write down in the comments and see you in the next video. Bye.